Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. I am Andrew Ariano, Grant Fierro, and Reef Willard. A lot of people are talking about El Toro, ladies and gentlemen. I guess it got demoed, but some people are saying it's not. Some people say it's a renovation. Grant, tell me what you know. Well, so yeah, so I guess the the photos really surfaced yesterday, and then uh, today Jenkum did uh, some research, which actually is funny. I thought it was really cool. They they decided to call the school, and talk to the school and see what information they could get out of them, which is actually a really good idea. And so they talked to the school. The lady at the school says that they're due to some sort of uh, like law when you're doing a remodel like that. The stairs. If there's, I think she was pretty much saying if there's that many stairs, there has to be a flat in between them, uh, basically making it a double set. So the the notes that Jenkum wrote say the stair set will remain and become even longer. They will add a flat in the middle and turn it into a double set to comply with ADA regulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those of you who don't and know, then, ADA is American with Disabilities Act. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So I imagine and, that. And, that uh, but how does that make sense with a flat? Like, how's that in a flat? Uh, a, a buy an ADA law if people with disabilities or wheelchairs can't go. Oh, you know what the flat's probably for? It's probably to give them a break. Yeah, it could be. You know they, what I mean? Well, the lady no, with was older saying, people. You know what I mean? The you know you walk up, you walk up the first ten, you're like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking mountain I climbed up. <laughs> Let's just take a break the here school- on the flat. <laughs> The school lady was saying they already have a uh, like an embankment that you can go up instead of that, like a ramp, you know? It looks like the whole so, thing's a bank. <laughs> right now it does, right yeah. Now. yeah. And then uh, someone named the uh, the real Matt Martin replied to Jenkum's story, and Jenkum ended up posting his response. And he said, you can only go 12 feet above the ground before you need a landing. I'm an architect, by the way. It's going to be a huge double set with kinked handrails. So looks like we're getting a, a very sudden change to El Toro. Double set with kink rails. So let me ask. So no you more uh, rails on each side, huh? No more uh, regular rails. Uh, according to Matt Martin, no. But <laughs> we'll just wait and see, I guess. Or not kink rails, I guess. So let me ask you guys this: Does this? Uh, it looks like that we'll still have a stair set there. Will this? Uh, will this defeat the the history? No, no, I'm sorry. So obviously there'll be a stair set, so people will probably try and skate it. Will this? If it being longer. Do you think El Toro, El Toro will still have its uh, weight as far as one of the most iconic skateboarding spots? Or do you think it has lost its luster because now the original 20 is gone? Um, I'll say that uh, I think El Toro is going to be, the 20 stair itself will be its its own thing. And this new thing, I I've, I've, I have a feeling people are going to try to jump on it as soon as possible. That's what I think. And I mean, it's gonna be crazy to watch because the ten flat ten, if or whatever it's gonna be, we don't. I don't know the stairs, but it's gonna be hectic. And then whoever grinds the rail, kuda. I mean, that's gonna be sick. What do you think, do Grant? It. Yeah, I think it's just kind of kind of gonna be different eras. You know, there's obviously gonna be the the twenty stair that was run for a long time, and then there's gonna be the uh, the double set era, which is, I guess, on its way. And it sounds like. I mean, from the sounds of it, it's just going to be even gnarlier. So if it's the same height, but it's longer, then you just have to go even faster to skate it. If the rail is going to be kinked, I mean, we see a lot of people grind kink rails nowadays. So I guess yep. depending on how steep it is, it'll probably go down. But I guess you just have to wait and see how steep that rail is you know, to get the kink. You know? you know, you have to imagine whenever, I think it's a school policy that every time when you start, uh, when you start making a, new structures you have to make it um what do you call it not make sure it's skate proof or not skate uh you know put skate stoppers on so i imagine they're going to put rails it's not going to be skate friendly rails yeah they could either put like i mean maybe we don't know it could be aluminum they could obviously just put skate stoppers right away right uh, i mean it's totally possible they'll skate stop the stairs too exactly i mean look what they did to so, wilshire those shits are still in there yeah, the yellow. It's been skated though. Uh, it's been yeah. skated, but I mean, I mean, how many people are gonna get to ollie that shit? <laughs> uh, only two so far. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. You know what I was thinking though? I, I was watching a complication of all the El Toro tricks, and I I forgot about in Happy Medium. Forgot what number 
someone pre grabs El Toro. And if someone like early grabs it? Yeah. Like, oh, sorry, <laughs> early grab. Early Why? Grab, Wave it. Yeah, early grab. I think, oh, dang it, what's his name? He, he had such a good first part or first half medium part. But um, he, uh, when he did that and I saw that again, it just made me think if it does get bigger, if someone early grabbed El Toro, someone's going to ollie this set or, you know, go for yeah. it. I, 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 bet, I mean, I think Ollie's going to go down first. Is, yeah, I think well, all, yeah. someone's going to ollie it. Like, I mean, think about people that do big ollies. Obviously, Jocelyn's just the hucker, like, can do, like, every trick downstairs. But I feel like maybe he'd want a piece, depending. Kyle Walker likes to do big. Kyle Walker it would make a little more sense to me because, like I was saying about Chris, like, Jocelyn does every trick down gaps and stairs. And Kyle hucks, but Kyle skates a lot of rails, too. But Kyle does really big stuff that'll be like an ollie, a kickflip, or a 180. Like more basic stuff down really big gaps. So I could see Kyle being someone that would maybe go ollie that. Yeah, I agree. I don't think, I don't really see Jocelyn ollie too much stuff. And I don't think that's like something yeah. that, I mean, he does amazing flip tricks and he's got a massive big spin. So, but yeah. yeah. Speaking of Chris, if with, with the uh, them redoing the set and what we've heard, what Chris talked about on the nine club about his his tray flip down the twenty. I wonder if he's just gonna put that out to to fill in Renan Drew. I don't know if you if you heard his nine club. Basically, he shows Roger. I think he showed all three of them the footage, mm-hmm. but didn't show the camera of him sticking what everyone would assume is a tray flip. And I that he says that pretty much he does it, rolls away like. 10 feet and then steps off and i heard he broke his truck doing it like his truck broke and i think that's possibly what made him step off and um they never released the footage obviously probably because he was considering going back but if this if that 20 is really done then i don't know maybe maybe we'll we'll get to see that footage Mm. ragdoll he tried to do his uh he used to he jumped from uh he tried to do board transfer to jump in the air and board transfer uh, his response, uh, his comment said, "Good riddance." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there was another guy that called it uh, El Euro. I thought that that took I him, that one tickled me that. a little bit. That's pretty funny. Uh, Except it's a huge bank right now. What's your What's your guys' favorite trick that went down El Toro? To to pay homage to the original twenty. I'll start off. I'll say Heath Kirchard, the one that opened the doors with that beautiful lip slide. No, I'm sorry. Birdhouse van to break in the yeah. break in the gate, then lip slide, <laughs> so and then sick. and then the van. No, the van is my favorite trick. Riding down the twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Reef, you got one. Um, it's a. I mean, Shane Cross. I heard. I didn't. I heard he did the nose grind first try, and I'm pretty sure that was a cover. And Shane Cross is definitely one of my favorites. Rest in peace. He's mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that one for sure. Sick. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go some a little more recent. Jamie Foy's front crook. Yeah, I saw that coming. Right when you said, yeah, that, I, I mean, was like, yeah, he's gonna go with the big pinch. Yeah, that <laughs> was just crazy to me. Like, that's such a dangerous first trick. Try and the fact too. Did mm-hmm. First go. Um, and what really stands out to me about about that clip and that front crook in specific is he lands it so relaxed, like it looked like he was grinding like a rail at a skate park. It did not look like he was. Going so fast, we took crazy impact at the bottom. Like I don't know, it looked like a walk in the park for him. And that rail on the sides, aren't they like not perfectly straight? Yeah, I was actually gonna ask Drew if he's been, because I went a few months ago. No, yeah, we were at a spot like really close to it a few months ago, so we're like, oh, let's just go look at it yeah. to look at it. And um, I don't remember. So Jamie's regular, so the rail that he grinded front side, it's not straight. Like towards the bottom. <laughs> The bottom, maybe like seven or something stairs, like down towards their area. It's like, it like goes like that kind of like, it just like kind of has like a little hiccup in it. So I don't know how much you'd feel that. Obviously, you'd be going pretty fast by that time, but I'm, I bet you would feel the little notch a little bit. So it makes everything even crazier for yeah, sure. That, that's amazing. Yeah. Anyone know why they took her out the middle rail? I don't know. I don't know. Too many hammers. I don't know. <laughs> the school Greco, decided is killed. Yeah. What's the what? What's the most recent clip that we've 
that we've seen on El Toro. Does anyone remember? You see, that's kind of hard. You because when you say no, recent, no, you say no, recent, no. you say recently released. But I don't know who was the last one to. You know what I mean? Yeah, Clive Dixon's. I'm sorry. Yeah, Clive's tricks weren't that long ago. The nose blunt, the nollie nose blunt, like a year or so ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's also Instagram stuff. Like people have skated El Toro on Instagram. <laughs> the little great. kid ports it. That was like nine or something. The scooter, oh, the scooter back it, and that went pretty viral on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I actually so saw they... probably a half hour ago? I was looking through the comments on the skate flight post about El Toro. Uh-huh. And these kids were kind of like going back and forth. And and this kid was like, oh, I think I'm the last person to skate it. And I was like, what did this kid did on it? So I go to his account, and he did caveman board slide down in the rain. In the rain? <laughs> Yeah, it was, his caption was like, I'm the first person to, to skate El Toro in the rain. <laughs> my favorite I don't know why you want my, to do my that. My favorite is though, another one of my favorite ones that's non-skate related was the, uh, the, the, the scooter that jumped in the Donkey Kong uh, um, a barrel and then shoots out and flies away. It's not, it's not, uh, a, it's not a real clip. Yeah. It's, it's, it's edited. Well, yeah. Oh, but let's not forget it. Let's not forget about the... the the BMX tail whip with the security lady at the bottom. Oh, that was gnarly. Right in front, that, of, right in front of that lady. He even got, he tried to get into her car and try to get out of them. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, the, uh, the, how people like edit the, the, the scooter backflip and then right when he's about to land, it's check for Sheckler's <laughs> backside flip. Oh my! It's like Sheckler's backside flip, and then it's a scooter rolling away. It's so. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god, Sheckler will never be able to get it back. That sucks. Uh, I mean, honestly, I kind of doubt he would go back after all this time. I don't know. Maybe he would, but no, no. I think I I echo that. It's been so long. Yeah, it's been so Mm -hmm. long. No one's gonna. People have forgot about that shit. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, no. I didn't think about that. I saw plenty of comments that, <laughs> that were like tagging him, like you can't go back to your backside flip and stuff. Yeah, okay, <laughs> check this out. Uh, my my friend Travis posted this. If for right. anyone yeah, watching, I've seen that video. Yeah, screen. what about it? Oh, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. Not that good. That is so good. It's incredible. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Show me that shit again. Show me that shit again. For anyone and, that's uh, listening, what's the name of this Instagram account so people could watch it? Uh, Tarvin uh, Tra- Bank. Tarvin Bank. Travis Harrison posted it. Oh my god! No, one more time. This is stupid. For for anybody for anybody just listening <laughs> to the show, it's Sheckler's backside flip, and right when he's about to put it to the ground, it switches to the scooter rolling away. <laughs> it's oh so good. Oh my god. Yeah, that's incredible man all right let's talk about the rest about our skateboarding topics it's jeff on uh for daily use by nike sb this was uh this is one of our my first topics uh starting this week uh as far as gathering topic lists uh man who knew that stefan janowski has much difficulty trying to get that shoe released then uh i'm sure no one thought it but it makes sense because it's a, it's such a different shoe than any other athletic shoes. He says, "I want this." I'm like, "Hell yeah, it looks tight to me." But nope. <laughs> Nike <laughs> Bigwig said, "Fuck that shit. We need some technology." He said, "Give me give me '90s technology." It's all just because Stefan likes uh he likes shoes that he can feel. And I when I talked about my top five iconic skateboard shoes of all time, he was all about. Um, he said he wants uh. What was it? He said he wants more functional than comfort. I forgot what he said. What did he say? It was like function over protection, right? Function over protection. That sounds about right. He, I feel like he had a different term for it, but yeah. Uh, uh, how long ago has it been? Was it ten years? Is that why they made this video? Yeah, it's been ten years. Wow. I believe. Ten whole years. And uh, props to Stefan for him having balls that says, no, if this, if this ain't what I'm getting, then I don't want a pro shoe. I wrote that down in my notes as one of my favorite How things. How the hell? I, it was a really and you just cool... got on, too. What kind of ball? I'd be looking. I'd be getting a mind, magnifying glasses. Where are your balls? Like, how, how are they this big? You got some balls we talking what? to Nike about this. You're telling me that you won't budge. It was really cool to hear because... 
I don't know. I don't think many people would have that that point of view. Like he said, I don't have a shoe now. So if I don't, if I'm not going to get one I like, then I'm not losing anything. I just don't want that. I still won't have one, mm. which I mean, you could you could argue that you're losing something. But <laughs> it was a cool way to think about it. Um, and it's a, a really great story to hear after he he wouldn't budge. He wanted his shoe the way he wanted it. And here we are about 10 years later, and clearly it paid off as there's been probably thousands of colorways, probably about eight or something different versions of that one shoe. And for example, like the mid tops, the slip on the, the air max version, the lunar love, you know, mm-hmm. like on and on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he, and what probably my favorite thing to take away from that was to hear that his shoe is on the wall of the top 100 Nike shoes in terms of sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's incredible. It's really cool that a skate shoe is on there, no matter whose shoe it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and there actually is something cool to me about it that it's, I mean, obviously I'd be just as hyped if it was someone like Costin or Paul, but there's part of me that's even surprised that Stefan was someone that got a shoe on Nike. And it's cool to hear that his shoe is there, you know, like Paul got 10 shoes or something and Costin had three and all that. And it's cool that Stefan's shoe made it up there. Ah, but I, let's let's not fool ourselves though. Paul's shoe is definitely on that wall as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, there's a lot more Janowski's out there than any Paul shoe. I'm not saying they didn't, they never sold, but Stefan's are on another level. I'll be honest when that when that shoe first came out, I was not hyped. I didn't think it was that good looking of a shoe. But when oh, I, really? For, Interesting. Yeah, but when I first the first time skating it, I was hooked. Now, I mean, now I'm a Vans guy, but I I wore probably over like 30, 30 to forty stuff on. I'm not even no wow. joke. I bought them all like go to PLA or Ronin before PLA, and uh, it's another shop. But anyways, I would. I mean these these shoes were good shoes. They were they lasted me forever, and I I was so happy hearing that like, he did not. He stood his ground. He wanted to you know make mm-hmm. sure he had the shoe. That I mean he said if my name's on it, I'm gonna want it my way. I really like that. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't want my name on something that's, yeah, I know it's a billion dollar shoe company and they're going to be able to make whatever, like put all the technology, but if he wants what he wants, the le- I mean, the leather shoelaces, I was a big fan of those after like, mm-hmm. I fr- like you figured out how to tie them right. <laughs> yeah. They were sick. <laughs> so, but here's the real question. Did you shoe go them? No. Mm. Didn't need to. Okay. Yeah, leather laces won't really rip, but they do have. You you are right. You need to learn how to tie them because they don't want to stay tied either. Yeah. Well, what's it's funny? Style? I still you just have... double knot them, right? Mm. No, I. That they're so the leather is so slippery. Like it doesn't. It they'll just unslide kind of. Like they don't really stay tied. So how do you tie them? Get get I... some get a pair of laces and show me how you tie them. Okay. Well, I, ha- I have a pair of Stefan's. They're one of the original pairs, actually. So you have the one of the original. Grab them. Girl, grab I'll them. Show, I'll show you. Hold yeah, we'll take over the show second. while he does this, ladies and gentlemen. Because to me, I just would imagine that you would double knot them. But Grant, Grant and Reef Willard are saying no. There's a special the way to tie The leather's too them. slick. Like, it'll un- it just slides Even and then the shoe will come on top. I mean, that would obviously help, but yeah. I still think it would. I blew it. I should have had these, like, on standby. But <laughs> these are the these are the corduroy, like one of the very oh, yeah. first colorways. Um, and these are leather shoelaces. But Drew, Jesus, those are like, those are longer than than the ones I had. No, if you, you got a lot of lace. Those are leather. Well, oh dang it! Oh no, it still says it. I'm pretty sure all of them say Nike SB in, on the the uh, the sole the sole, but. These are like before they went in like mass produced. These were like, yeah, like some these. of the first runs. Yeah, I had to go buy these from my uh, homie because he saved these, and then I wanted to, I wanted these, so I bought them from. Him. But uh, Drew, if you look at the lace, it's like frayed on some. I think that it's all frayed, but you can tell that one side is like not as frayed. Mm-hmm. I mean, you probably can't see it. No, I could, I could, I could definitely not tell, but you, I like what you're showing. <laughs> And anyways, you tie it a certain, you tie them like they they catch it like locks. It's so weird. So is it tying it like a like a boat tie, like a docking boat tie? You ever tie a you ever tie a boat tie? You know? No normal normal. Well, neither tie, have but... I. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I don't even skate. I barely, I don't even wear these really. I just, they're just there. It's so, having to have them. Yeah. That's cool though. I love stuff on. It's a really cool piece. I enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, yeah, actually, was... one more thing before we, we keep this rolling. I don't know if we're going to switch topics, yeah, but uh, to. his, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, shoot, I'm drawing a blank. I was going to say something else about that, about that, uh, that piece about Stefan. Oh, the money that, I mean, just thinking about now, like, didn't, they talked about the, like him royalties or something on that, right? I don't remember. Did they mention that on there? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I doubt it, but why you think? But that? anyway, it's it's crazy to just think now, like, how, I mean, kind of what we were saying. Like, they, they didn't want to do the shoe. The shoe became such a big success. Like, he is, I'm sure, very happy that he stuck by what he wanted. And hopefully it got a good contract. You know, it's you funny said, to you think. You said something so smart about earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off. Go ahead. No, I was just going to toss in there. It's funny. I remember those rumors five or something years ago about Him people were saying name. that Nike bought his name, yeah. but he denied that. Right. Yeah. Well, I was going gonna... to say, gonna say that um, uh, I think you what you said made a lot of sense with uh, the amount of people that they had on their team, even when he first got on, about how do you determine who gets a shoe and who doesn't get a shoe. And uh, Stefan Janowski, he's a great skateboarder, but he's – he, he he's not one of the biggest names in skateboarding. I'd say yeah. I'd say his shoe is what made his name bigger than life. For sure. Yeah, I mean in a very, you know, with all respect, his his shoe name is bigger than like if anyone knows there's a lot of people that know him because of his shoe, not because of his skateboarding. Mm-hmm. You know, like non-skateboarders or even skateboarders I'm sure knew what his shoe was before they had ever seen him skate. Like people even my age or a little younger maybe. Um. Yeah, it's true. Did Malto Malto still hasn't had a shoe on Nike? Has he? Just a colorway. Um. Yeah, he had like a version of a dunk. But yeah, I mean Nike's pretty slim. Like there's probably I don't know ten dudes maybe that have ever had a pro shoe on Nike SB. We can brainstorm. Yeah, they- you know, they gave Omar a shoe I kind of like right after, which is kind of crazy too. Yeah, Omar had a shoe. Brian Anderson's had a shoe. Stefan's had a shoe. Paul, Eric, Corey. Corey. Oh, yeah, Corey's shoes were sick. Forgot about those. Um, that's only six. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few more we're forgetting, but I don't think it would be like above 10, really. The shot hasn't even or, had a shoe. No, just a bunch of colorways and versions. Um, I wonder how they Shane determine. A, I wonder how they determine. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, we're gonna give Steph on a shoe, but you still have <laughs> a shot and Malto, and we're just gonna bypass these guys because we. And then, and then, can you imagine I mean, they say we're gonna give him a shoe? And then they, and then he's like, here, and they're like, what the fuck is this shit? You yeah. playing me? But Stefan's Stefan's shoe was way before dudes like Ishad and and yeah, Malto. Who was on? Who was on? Was uh, I know Paul was on. I know who else was on. Was it a Daniel, Dan, was it Dan Murphy on? I, think, I have no I think idea. Dan Murphy was on. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Daniel Shimizu? Yeah, he was yeah. on. I should have gave him a shoe. Yeah. You know? He had a pro shoe? Yeah, I didn't no, know I that. Said, I said they he had a, I said they uh, should have uh, given him a shoe. Sorry about that. He had a colorway of a dunk. I know that I talked about his nine club recently. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, not many. Still to this day, not many. Like, I hope Bashaw gets one one day. I mean, I, I think Shane okay. deserves one, even though everyone <laughs> knows him as the dude that skates Janowski's. <laughs> he, he's done his thing to get a shoe, I think. But When you first saw, first saw like, a shot coming up, though, he was skating Stefan's lot, too. I mean, he it, was, did. it became, like, the team shoe, almost. And then they made those team additions that were, like slim but yeah they did make this shoe yeah, yeah. it's definitely the shoe a lot of dudes with you know Corey skated before Corey found the all courts and got into his whole toe cap thing he would always skate the fawns oh yeah did they ever make it's a, a two shoe. i i, I want to say they did right didn't they make a stuff on fawn two? yeah no no they did, just I did, they just revised it in different ways huh yeah and they just came out with ones called the remastered they're a little they basically look the same they, uh, I think the sole's a little different, and there's like a couple of differences in like stitching, but they've never made too much of a change. They've made definitely different versions, but 
I think they know that they need to leave the yeah. regular silhouette how it is forever. Yeah. 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 So he can skate another ten more years. I tripped out on that too. Like he's I never mean, worn I a different pair of shoe. shoes. Yeah. Yeah, he's like I've only the only shoe I've skated in twelve years. I was like, that would feel insane. Like there's, I mean, it's cool that he's that hyped on it. I really do think that's tight. But you, you, like, there's never like some blazers or something. He's like, I'm gonna try these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I just know what I like, so I'm gonna keep eating pizza. Like, you don't want a little <laughs> bit of Chinese food? <laughs> like, you're not sick of that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess, bro. I guess. Uh, what's up with the? Uh, you guys see uh, Jason Dill? He got a, he got his name on a shoe too. The, the yeah, samba. Samba. I saw that. The, yeah. I actually like how it looks with his name on it. I know his name on the tongue like that does. Yeah, look really that's cool. it's all fat too. Yeah, he writes his name good. Sambas are a it's a it's a clean looking shoe. I like that one. I didn't know he was on Adidas. What's going What's going on with that? Is he or is he just uh What's going on? He's there? on. You're You're not that late though. What happened? What beginning of the year maybe? Oh okay. yeah, not yeah. too long ago. Was he still on DVS? Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually. I think this. This announcement kind of surprised a lot of people. There wasn't any rumors really about it that I heard, at least. And I just went on Instagram one day, and he just posted that Dill was on, and I was like, "What? <laughs> That's crazy." Well, I guess he's why off. Is it, why is it a shock to people? Because I, I mean, at least someone like me personally, I just assumed, oh, I'll just stay on Vans for life. Like he's already kind of older. He's not like he's he wasn't a skateboarder. On Vans, was he? Switch. Yeah. Well, was he on? Been on Vans for a while. I, th- I thought he was just getting the Abe hookup. I didn't know he was on Vans. Nah, he was on. He was on Vans. But and, he didn't and have a Abe, No, I mean, at least not right now. I'm trying to think if he had one, but I don't think he did. No. But F.A. and Vans have done plenty of collabs, and he's been involved right, in that. Right, yeah. Uh, F.A. and Adidas have also done collabs yeah, with Nikola. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I imagine. And now, they, and now they actually did with Dill because this Dill Samba shoe came out at the F.A. store that opened recently. Mm, right. Well, that's dope. Okay. I was I was shocked though, like you said, Grant. I was a little shocked about it, but at the same time, he is good friends with the Gons, so mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. That's that's the only thing I could think of. Maybe that he got his yeah, he that got his way, and he got his way. and Dill's a good and, talker, so. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. Maybe just seeing. I mean, I know there's other FA dudes on Vans too, but maybe seeing uh, Nikel and Tyshawn over there, he was like, you know, I want a little piece of that Adidas. No, yeah, I want a little piece. Of yeah, that. give me over there for a little bit. Yeah. I like what they're doing with Day One. Let me get some of that. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me get my own picnic. We'll call it the art. Show. <laughs> <laughs> documentary coming soon. Dale, hey, you, you never know. Yeah. He's definitely an entertaining person to listen to talk. I'll tell you that. His nightclub is hilarious. I've watched that one numerous times. It is funny. Interesting. Like, if you stay in the game a while, because he was never a polarizing figure in his earlier years of skateboarding. Everyone knew who he was. But he was no, he was no, he was no Jeff Rowley or or, uh, or Reynolds. People knew of him, but maybe maybe he had to get rid of the afro and get some high socks and just bat, uh-huh. bust out back threes everywhere. He's got a good one. Good for him. He's got though. cool manuals too. He did some manuals for this little Adidas thing. He did like a one wheel Manny, did like back when he fakey Manny. That was sick. Yeah. I like Super it. red. Please let's talk us let let's talk about pizza skateboards video name called Beaks. Lord have mercy. What the, <laughs> f- what the fuck did we watch? Dude. So what we good. saw was a bunch of hammers. By the way, right when they first started rolling shit out, I was like, Oh fuck yeah, Brandon Westgate's on pizza and I was like, Oh, that's fucking Ryan Connors with his head shaved. I was like, Fucking asshole. <laughs> Fooled me. Yeah. I kept I kept looking every time Ryan would roll up. I was like, Fuck you, man. You look get that hair back. You're pissing me off. <laughs> I honestly thought it was him. I was super hyped. I was like, Fuck yeah. Got off element you know what, about time you, you know started stepping like? your shit up on some pizza shit. Go ahead, bro. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say about uh, Ryan Connors. That fool pops out of every like manual, any trick. It looks like he just wants to like ollie out of everything. And I, I back that because he did that wally to manual on that like bank, and you could tell he's still one of the ollie. I mean, you don't want to even yeah. people people don't like I don't know. You just don't see that, and he ollied out of a bank out of the manual. It was sick. Mm-hmm. I like his stuff. I mean, I know he we're going to talk about it later, but Ryan Connors had a hell of a week this week, so I'd say uh, 
Uh, he, he's all right up there with uh, people were thinking about him until Toro happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's that type of dude. It, no, no, he was up there. He was up there in the world. Oh, you know, but you know who outshined him in my opinion? Oh, you mean like he no, was the, the week. hottest topic? Yeah. What would you okay. thought I said? I thought you were. I thought you were like alluding that he was going to skate El Toro. <laughs> no, I didn't say what the. <laughs> Check your ear. I got what you said, dude. But you know how shining in my opinion was Ducky. Ducky Novaks is the fucking truth. And I can already tell, like, this is the type of guy like Grant likes to see skate. This is your guy, huh? This is your guy on pizza? Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, what? but my pe- my pizza guy is Polizzi. I mean, he's okay, he's, but he's no Ducky. He's my number one pizza pick. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah, Grant. Ducky's the Shoot. gnarliest. Ducky and Chase are the gnarliest. Paluzzi does just like the coolest trick looking tricks to me. Sorry to let you down. Um, but little 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 offended, but um, <laughs> I like that piece okay. though. No. Speaking of gnarliness, Ducky's Ender. Or the, sorry, the what, ender to the video. Yeah, the ender Ducky's to the video. insane fifty. Let's not forget I mean, he kicked the ball right before, before that. He gave it to the kids. I know that was tight. You know what I, I always wonder? And like so who, he gives the who does a kickflip right after they do that and skates the stair set? Like what? Well, are we are we pre John Delo? What are we doing I was here? <laughs> just gonna say that. Like, <laughs> like, do you think he was? I always wonder. Like, is he kickflipping before every single one? Like, or did he just feel like doing one that try? Like, it was just random. Right. But hmm. man, he handled it. And do that though. like before they jump on a rail or something. Not just a rail. I mean, just if you you do get a trick before you do you, like you do your the real trick. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying the other trick's not real. I'm saying, like, yeah. you get a little setup trick to get yourself pumped. Okay. Well, what did Paluzzi Just, do? Go ahead. Take the floor with... Uh, what with did Paluzzi do? Yeah. You never know what you're going to get out of him. He skates that ledge. He does front tail and then drops, like, fakey nose grind and turns out of it when he's out. They had that, like, round coping on that ledge. He did tail side and then went into crook and yank over 180. I, I remember that. I remember that. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah, you never know what he's going to give you. Next thing, like, he'll do a crazy trick, and you're already going to be tripping on the ledge trick, and then he's going to land it to Manny. Then he's going to revert to fakie Manny. <laughs> like, what? Front hurricane. That, oh. Back when he's out, Manny, revert to fakie Manny, half cab out. Yeah. yeah. Try to think about the, that. Uh, oh, my God. Fakie, <laughs> fakie back tail 270 on the curve ledge was a really cool one. You don't see that trick much. Um and he held it and spun out really good. So I loved it. Uh, Chase, as well, that Smith grind over the psycho rainbow rail thing. That that was definitely my most memorable trick from him. I know he had a lot of hammers in there, but that was crazy. I've seen that spot one other time. Deeds board slid it in a Nike edit. And I remember it specifically because it's a crazy looking spot. The board side was gnarly. I didn't really expect to see anything else. Um, but the Smith grind looked so cool. The way he locked into it and just stood on it was super rad. Man, do you remember when uh, Chasey, he always over the pole, and then he, like, power slides because he's going so fucking fast, and then somehow manages to sneak on by the scooters? And I was like, whoa, that's a, whoa we're skating through uh, scooters now? That's a trick? I was all, I was yeah. like, I even went back. I was like, oh, it looked more visually pleasing the first time, but I didn't expect it. Um, I the long power side was cool looking. That that was cool looking, right? He should have had no more wheels. It should just been. <laughs> it should look like Flintstones, just flat spotted out. His uh back feeble to back Smith on those two bars, like he had to pop over. That was pretty crazy. because yeah. you've seen people do like fifty fifty, like oh or like probably fifty to Smith and stuff. But feeble yeah. to back Smith, two different tricks. That's like, a heavy. Oh my God. Yeah. Trying to go back real quick and look at Paluzzi stuff because I want to see yeah, what I Grant. I, I want to see what look. Grant's seeing. What's Grant looking at? <laughs> like, what am I missing? To me, to me, it's the the whole. This is the Ducky show. Oh, I mean, I, I get why you're giving it to Ducky, but look I'm at just the saying, Ducky show. Overall... Fuck the fuck the the Ender. The Ender's not what I'm giving it on. <laughs> like the way he crooked <laughs> right. that that rail going down, down a uh, downhill. Oh yeah, here comes Ryan Connors with this bullshit. <laughs> his fucking haircut that was Your rad that 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 wall ride and manny on that on that slanted mm-hmm. brick prank 
Yeah. He don't give a fuck. Yep. He's still rolling down the hill. Oh, Grant, Grant, Grant. Okay. I know you'll remember <laughs> this. This is why it's the Ducky Show, bitch. So there's a stair set that's going down, <laughs> down right. And then he's got the rail yes. over his side. So it's going, stair set's going down, rail going out. He always over the stair oh. set and board slides, board slides to his little, little Smith, Yanko. quick little Smith transition. Yeah. Pops out yeah. of that. Oh. That was sick. Oh. I actually got hyped on that specific clip. Like, it's I happened and I was like, dude, that looked tight. It's the Ducky Show, He did show, that bro. really well. It's the Ducky Show. I, he he bamboozled I, me. I thought he was going to skate down the stair set. <laughs> but he opted for the shootout. He rail. outed. He outed for the straight rail. Yeah. Oh, man. The yank out was sick, too. He did a yank out on that. That's <laughs> what I put in my notes. I like that one. I'm not yeah. too, too much of a fan of the yank outs, but he makes it look good. Yeah, I, I'm like... I don't know. I could be sold on them, mm-hmm. but I don't. There's something about that trick. Like I, I feel like this is, it sounds dumb to say, but so many of them kind of just look the same to me. Like I feel like you could say about any trick, but I don't know. Like it just gets to a point. Like you're seeing some aboard side, they start to bend down, and it's just like overly predictable to me. Like oh, he's just gonna yank over. I don't know. Like it just gets boring. But then there's board side yank overs where I'm like, that was insane. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at it though, and if you think about it. When you when you bend down, I don't know. I've tried it. it you could slip out very easily, and if you oh, do on sure. that, and he was just, and if he was leaning a little bit to the right, oh mm-hmm. my god, that could have been really bad. Yeah, yeah you're right. That's bit. a gnarly one. I've never even tried the yank out. Like, not not in the Art. sense of I don't want to try because it it, I think it's whack. Just mm-hmm. in the sense like I have no desire. Like that just looks gnarly. I'm not trying to put my fingers on my board next to the rail. I don't know. That does not look fun. I mean, it looks fun when they do it, but I just, I don't know. I don't see that one working out for me. <laughs> Before we go right. on to the rest of our topics, uh, well, I said everything I wanted to about pizza. Did you guys? Yeah. Uh, read yeah. It? Okay. Well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, you got something to say? I mean, there's, I know well, there's I, a lot I, of ducky footy we missed. Yeah, uh, yeah ducky did that. Um, well, Con- uh, Ryan Connors did a very heel over that rail, but that like uh, half rainbow rail. Right. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of uh, Jerry Asu skating a kind of a rail like that back in what well, it was in um, Bag of Suck, and uh, I don't know. I really like that footage. She did the front feeble, front oh, feeble. That feeble. was cool. But, yeah, I liked it a lot. That, that's a yeah, Ducky rail. really did go it, off. It goes. On that. It goes. <laughs> I I don't know where it starts, but I know it ends yeah. right down. <laughs> we were just going straight the to ground. the ground. <laughs> Rick McCrank. Sorry. In pretty sweet Rick McCrank 50 is like a thin little hubba that's like that. Like it rounds down the, like all the way in the ground trick like that. Rick McCrank had. Yeah, his only clip is that 50. Very pissed, Rick. Very pissed. Front feeble was cool. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the front feeble because you have to pull you have to pull up. I mean, that's, yeah, you kind of have to pop out. out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll give on, it to you, Drew. Uh, this was uh, the Ducky Show. This, that's right, motherfucker. It's the Ducky Show. <laughs> Motherfucker, right. It's the Ducky Good Show. Name too. Thank you, Grant. I appreciate you giving it to me. Uh, also, uh, let's uh, to go back into last week's podcast real quick. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about. Uh, I saw the double impact of Yarn A. Grant, mm. I got two yes. words for you, and that's thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Drew, for sending it to me too. God damn, yeah. that was amazing skateboarding. The most entertaining thing. Most right? entertaining thing. I don't know why that's not released on YouTube. Thrasher's probably just whoring it. Says I want you to click on the, the music, site. I think. Just go to the site. Oh, probably might be. But I don't think they own the right. Lord of Mercy, beautiful. Like but you know, you know what's kind of funny is that like they both be- start beefing. And they're like, you know what? Let's be friends. Let's get let's get let's get this. The shit. little skits are so perfect. The, I don't still don't even understand the filming when they're doing like the flat ground tricks. Thank like you. Three, how three, all four of them? How does it go work? from back back? I don't know. I was, needed. I was hoping we we're gonna get. Look, they had a rough cut. I was like, there better be long lens of this happening because I don't want to see it. But no. <laughs> uh-huh. Nope. It's, nope. They said we're not sharing it. We're not secret. sharing it. At first, I thought it was like a GoPro. They just super long selfie stick, and they just keep reeling it back. But it, you but you but you know what though? No, that's what I'm saying. Is I I saw the shadow the guy's camera. It's a fucking VX. Yeah. So either they had a mouse down there filming between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it worked. Or they had, yeah, that is they had a such heli- a great. They had a drone <laughs> filming with the VX. Um, I don't. Yeah, they it, really Grant. killed it with that one. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what else do we got this week? Uh, did you guys check out the 
uh, um, what is that? Oh, uh, Gage Boyles, um, welcome to Spitfire Park. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was hammer filled. Oh well, yeah, well tell me. You about want me it. to get going on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, Dude. yeah, you're, you're, you're the Spitfire uh, advocate here. <laughs> I mean, you you're the. Spit. No, what is it that you're the Spitfire um, ambassador? Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know about that. But Gage, dude, from Blunt on that rail, number one. Actually, I think I'm going to give my number one to his lines, his ledge lines at USC. the And the single, the half-cap backsmith back three. Oof. I mean, no one does that. He And, I mean, honestly, not that I have any idea what a half-cap backsmith feels like. But I feel like doing it, that's a weird ledge to pick to do it on. Because his ledges are rounded. They're super rounded. They're not at all, like, squared off. And I feel like he would just keep slipping out of the Smith, but it worked for him. And oh. I've seen him do that before, like on Instagram, but wow, he did it so well. Uh, I mean, just to see him do it out of spot is crazy, you know. Um, all those ledge lines were cool at USC. The front blunt transfer on that shootout bar was gnarly. And uh, I know he had a kickflip front 50. That's when he does a lot. And it's uh, and he does them so well. Like, he just flip. It makes a kickflip front 50 look like... If you can kickflip, you should just have that trick down a hubba. Like, he just floats his kickflip right over the hubba and stomps it down into the grind. And, yeah, I don't know. Looks super good. He has a cool mix to me of a style that's, like, he skates with power but also looks so relaxed. It doesn't look like he's trying to skate with power. It just looks very natural. And, like, you can tell he has a lot of control over his board. He doesn't skate like Wes Kramer, but he has that he has that attribute of Wes Kramer, how you explained it. Skates with Comfort. He looks comfortable, but he's giving you some gnarly um, tricks. What I'm interested, uh, what I'm tripped out on, is that he makes 180s look beautiful, and I hate 180s. I don't like. I don't. It's like Jesus, just fucking flip that shit. But you know, I'm willing to look at a few 180s from him. His back 180. His. I don't like front 180s, but he does it over a trash can. I'm like, ooh, let me see that shit again. What's up with that 180? <laughs> he is a really good front 180. He like. It's like he pokes out and turns, and he doesn't travel. Like, let's say you're regular and you do a front 180, you would travel a little bit, like, kind of to your left, you know? Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It's like he just lands exactly where he popped, but just further in front of him. It doesn't turn any direction like that. It just spins right perfectly. And, I mean, he actually does. I don't think there's one in this part. But he does front 180 switch 50s a lot, like alley-oop. Like, he, he'll come out a ledge or hub a front side and do it. And if you can front 180 that direction, then you clearly have a really controlled and popped front 180. You know, you were right about that uh, tail slide 270 out. That was sexy. Oh, uh, yeah. That back tail 270 and floated out of it. Fuck. Were you familiar with him at all, Reef? Actually, I wasn't. And when I first, when I watched this part, I watched it numerous times because it was so good. I mean, that uh, I think it was the second trick uh, like to the opening. He does that 50, and it looks like I was like, is he going to go through that kink? Because that's a huge rail. And then he pops out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my God. And this guy... He kind of reminded me of um, Ryan. I mean, he has the pop. He pops out a lot, like a lot of stuff. Like you said, that front blunt. You see him like, yeah. all the out of that rail. Mm-hmm. Like, it looked good. And then he does the front lip pop out. I mean, he's not all in out of it, but he pops out. Yeah, that out lip good. side was cool. Mm-hmm. You know, what I like, like is that said, he. Oh, go ahead, sorry, bro. I thought you were done. Oh, uh, just the. the uh, I was gonna say the kickflip front fifty. That was a really yeah. good. Kick. I mean, it looked like a high tall hubba, and he got up there like pretty high. He didn't like. I yeah, don't know, it he, wasn't. I know what you mean. It was yeah. like he was above the hubba and just landed on it. It wasn't like he was just trying to get. It wasn't like he was trying to get on the hubba. It was like he was over it and then stomped it down. Perfect. Like he he wanted to like. Yeah, it was perfect way you said it. He just wanted he was like floating he over it. Where, yeah, he picked where he wanted to land on it. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it looked very controlled. I really like this guy's style. Fucking a. Uh, he's never gonna lose his keys you know as they always has his keys strapped up on his belt <laughs> someone else commented that too <laughs> you can't just set him down no i gotta have him i do the same thing with my keys but I, man they be smacking me in the hand i don't like that shit <laughs> yeah he, he's fucking hurt <laughs> oh man shake jump made a uh like a little edit for their instagram with the the tray flip front k flip front 50 line i thought that was sick I yeah. don't know. It's cool that he's on Shake Jump. Yeah. He's on America? Mm-hmm. Well, they haven't introduced him, but they, that's who he gets shoes from. 
that's sick that he's on America. That's really dope. Yeah, yeah hopefully I they think he's a good fit. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Too. I agree. Uh, let's go back into uh, oh, pfft, oh man, let's just talk about the best thing that happened in the week. All right, not really. Grant's gonna give me shit for it, but uh, P Rod's Road. I know you're hyped. On. P Rod's Road Recovery Episode Four. Um, it was just nice to get an update, an update to see where he's at and what he's doing and how he's feeling. It's uh, I've been watching his Instagram stories on uh, him working out and him. Uh, the the main workouts that I've been watching, I think the only one he's really posted is him doing these uh high jumps onto. Uh, I don't know what they call them. They're just high platforms, and he puts like yeah. he puts like little uh, little paddings to increase his jump. Um, that that's fucking hard and impressive to be jumping from that, to be jumping from that ang- uh, that high. That's a trip. I don't know if you guys ever went to the gym and tried to jump on one of those platforms before. No, I haven't, but it, it looks it looks interesting. Like it just when I see like him or anyone post that type of stuff, I'm like, I wonder how high I could do that. But at the same time, I've seen people get so smoked doing that. Like if they don't get or like their feet will get up there, but they're like they can't jump high enough to get their whole body up there really, and they just slip out. Like they're skating. Like it looks like that type of slip out. Oh wow! But I would like to try it just to know. Just curious. So Paul, Paul looks like he could jump so high though. <laughs> I yeah, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking. I'm like, man, how come we don't see you with that that many hops anymore? But you, you know, I, you remember in your right reef where uh, P Rod does a switch heel flip like on the when the trash can sitting low in a line. He does it so good. I, was, I can't remember. Oh, dude, blowing it. I can't remember. <laughs> I just remember this the slow mo uh, down the eight and I flip. That's all I can remember. A P Rod. Yeah, right. Nolly flip down he looks yeah, confused. He's, in, he's I'm pretty sure it's on the green board. They show it with the oh, green board. That, that little ass thing at no, no, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. That's the only thing you remember. God mm-hmm. damn. Well, he fronts. I flipped it. I like the fronts. I flip better than the Nolly flip. Any, <laughs> no, anywho, he does flip. anywho he, he's looking, uh, he's looking like he's gonna get back. He's gonna get back pretty shortly. He's um. Looks like his doctors cleared him to uh, skate in not too much time, right? He said, "What in a couple months?" Like not. Yeah, he's not got much. another month or two, and then he'll he'll be really skating yeah. again. I mean, it was cool to even see him doing something on his board yeah. in this, you know, because we haven't seen much. A couple months ago, he did post an Instagram video at Beebles, and it was the first thing he's posted, and it, he like switched back tail to tall ledge, and I was like, "Is this dude serious? Like, doesn't skate for seven months, and he's switched back tail on this tall of a ledge?" Um, but he was saying in here that he started skating a little too early, which makes sense because other than that video, I think he hasn't posted anything. So, I mean, he told his story, said his knee started feeling a little weird again. Um, and his doctor told him, you got to chill out. So, But it was rad to see him just skating the mani pad. Like, it, there's something cool to me about seeing someone that's so controlled and comfortable on a skateboard just doing simple, like him doing a kickflip nose mani or like a 180 fakie manual, like, on a little mani pad at the skate park, nothing that Paul would normally film, but just seeing how easy and controlled he can do those tricks is cool. Yeah, I like I like watching him skate the manual pad because, like you said, when he's when someone's that controlled, I mean, god damn, I wish that's it's awesome. Beautiful, he can do it. Yeah. Like it looks like he just does it so casual and so nice, and yeah, I back it. I, I don't know if but, Paul's. I don't know if Paul's known for his. Uh, for his manuals or or his uh, technical skating, but he's or his rail game, he he's he's really jack of all trades minus minus Grant his trans, <laughs> tranny skating. It's the only thing he lacks, really. I'm sure he can hang, but he's not out there. And you're right. He's not you're out. Right. He's not out there in the in the in the in the bowls or grinding any coping or doing any jack or eating shit, but. Drew, can I get a redemption for the the P Rod not knowing that? Yeah, right? show, can yeah, get, you can I, get a redemption. What do you got? Can I, can I show you a cover I ha- or a magazine I have? Oh, right? oh yeah. Real quick. Is I it got the Switchback Nose Boy? Yep. Dang it. I, well, you can still <laughs> get it. Go. You can still get I it. That one too. All right. The first. Those of you don't know, he's blunt. talking about Santa Monica Switchback Nose Boy. It took him forever to get on this thing. Isn't it Beverly? Isn't it Beverly? Oh, Beverly. Hills? That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. Be- you're right. I always no, mix those two up. It is Beverly. We were talking about Santa Monica earlier. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's it? Is that that nine star? Is that in Santa Monica? What school is that, Grant? That um, the the school with the with that uh, 
with the nine, nine that everyone skates? Yeah. With that B8 Vicky Vero flips? Uh, Belmont? Belmont. Yeah, the Belmont nine. Belmont the ground's nine. all beat up at the bottom. It took him forever to try and commit to that backside nose blunt. He was fucking yeah. te- petrified. That's the first one down a rail ever. Was that a my? Was that a my? No. Was it a oh, my war? That's rolled. Uh, no, but they had. Paul the would be footage. a my war guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but. <laughs> um, Paul no, Rodriguez but the footage wasn't something. All fired up, my war. That was a cool video though when he talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was cool to see. I remember that cover too. I have that one. Yeah, somewhere. So good. Somewhere. I, I mean, I'm excited for Paul to come back, Drew. I know it's gonna make you so happy that I'm saying this, but like, it doesn't because footage... I don't think I don't think you're truly happy. No, I am because Paul's footage within the pet like the year or something before he got hurt. With I mean, you might think I'm dumb for saying this, but it really probably was like my favorite Paul stuff. Like, there was. I get like I'm I'm down to watch Paul like in yeah right and like when he's younger and that stuff's cool to me too. And then there was Paul like when he got super into contests, which is tight. But there wasn't really that much street footage coming out, and he was doing his contest thing. And then like a few years ago, he, he kind of just stopped skating the contest. He yeah, stopped he just, going he to just those. Became a park guy. Yeah. Well, no. Well, I mean, after the contest stopped, it it got him out of the park more and back into the streets. And he was killing the streets on Instagram. He had that like a minute and a half part at the end of that primitive never video. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's clips in that that I love. Like his front shove back nose grind, nollie back heel. And it's so, so good. And my favorite thing about it is that he's posted like the some of the raw footage from that. Or he has like a whole raw footage thing of that on YouTube. And he does one that I f- actually would expect Paul to use over the one that they used for that clip. Like, he does one more, quote-unquote, perfect, I feel like. And I feel like Paul's mm-hmm. the, the perfect dude. But he takes this one that isn't perfect, but it just looks better. <laughs> and I was surprised that Paul was down for that. He, it looks so he did, tight. He did a few of those in, in that part, uh, the end of the... I forgot what that perimeter part was called, but he has a few uh, kickflip backside... Switch kickflip backside tail slides that go really yeah. lengthy. And another one that could be argued was when he does... Uh, Ooh, what was it? Switchback tail, switch two seventy out. What was that? Yeah, switchback uh, switch Smith, switchback switch back back Smith. Thank so you. Oh. He had like four oh. sessions on that. He had he landed like two 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 other ones, and they're like you could have got Multiple. away with those, but they were. <laughs> it was like eh. There was yeah, there was plenty of those that were acceptable. Yeah. But he wants the one he wants, and he I mean the one he did was the one. It was the for one. that you know like he, you one. saw that one you're like all right there's that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy though. Think about Switchback Smith, Switchback Three. Like not many people are doing that, especially yeah. that ledge he did it on was tall. It was a coping ledge. It's gonna Smith grind, but that thing was tall. I think Paul made his uh, you know that's probably why Paul got hops. So it's probably what he's doing at the gym. <laughs> Right, it's got pop. I'm sure it helps. Yeah, makes sense. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, let's talk about Nike SB Polar collaboration. They call it uh, Polar Rico. That's cute. Drew, <laughs> we you just watched this before the show, and you're pointing out how the, the spots are looking real beat up. Yeah, dude, those spots look fucked up. Those things aren't even weathered. Those things are demolished. They look like El Toro right now. They're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get Dude, some water look- so I can like rant a little bit more. Uh, I kind of rushed okay. in here, so if you guys will take it away, and then I'll yeah. uh, I'll try to catch up with you. Go ahead, Reef Willard. Reef Willard. Willard. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, who who, uh, who stood out here? Uh, you gave me his name. I already forgot it. I feel bad. He um, Neil. Neil. Yes, thank you. Sorry. He uh, he had some pretty crazy stuff. He's his ollies. His he had an ollie. Um, I'm pretty sure it was indie. Anyone can correct me if they want. I don't know what it. Is. I don't know if it was or not. But all, I'm pretty sure Ollie Indy, and it, he always it like. It looks like he's Off gonna go down. Side. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna yeah. go down the stairs, and then always to the side, and it's just a huge drop. And then he's. Uh, what was the other clip? The oh wait, you were you and I were talking about before the show the crooked grind. He barely yeah. hangs on, and it just yeah. looks so crazy. He is another one in there too. I don't. It was something, and I feel like he shoves out of it, and he lands, and he bends down so low. And like his hand scrapes the ground, but he stands up. Like I don't know how he rolls away from these things. Yeah, the nose man only shove. Yeah, that's what it was. Nose man yeah. only shove. Like that and the crook. It just looks like he bends so low. I don't know how he didn't just slip out or 
just put his body on the ground, but he stands up from it, and it it's pretty cool looking. I agree. Um, Nick Bocero is always rad to see because he skates so fast, so fast. Um, Hejalte to me was the dude like. Just his man, his legend manual tricks, his no side back to seventy like the hard way, so perfect, um, like fully rotated it, rolled away fast, and that's a trick that you'll see some people do. Or they roll away a little slow because if you slide your wheels at all in that one, it's easy to do to roll away slow. But he did it perfect. He did something into fakey Manny and dropped the fakey Manny and fakey flipped out, and it looked so sick. I was going to ask you about if that was him because he does a no yeah. slide pop over like inside the ledge. Yeah, that was and, and so rad. Fakey Manny, the fakey Manny, fakey flip. I thought that line was so sick. Yeah, he's so cool. Like just real cool style. Does all his tricks really well. He's tall. And, I don't know. I just think his skating's tight. Yeah. Um, did you did you see the shoes they dropped, Reef? Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> I mean, they're 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 crazy looking. I mean, they they what's crazy looking? What happened? <laughs> the uh, Nike and Polar, that, that video was because they collab. They did some shoes. And they did two shoes. They did a blazer, and then they did this crazy air oh, trainer I, one. That thing looks nuts. I did not see the does Oh, it, yeah, I did see does the, it look, the blazer. When you say it looks nuts, does it look good, or does it look like it's too much? I wouldn't wear them, but there's people that are psyched on them. Drew, did you watch? Did you see the Copenhagen Open? They were skating a shoe. Like, they had a shoe model, like, built. They were skating that's over. That's the it. one who sh- uh, shot one. Yeah, yeah, the best skateboarder. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm down for the Blazers. The Blazers look tight, but yeah, that other shoe. It, I mean, it's not for me. But Did it's Shad cool. wear those I, shoes? I, it's different. Nah, he hasn't been wearing those. He's been skating a lot of Bruins. I, I think he has a colorway of a Bruin coming out because on his Instagram he had one like a few months ago, and you could see it said a shot on the bottom like it did on his his Blazer uh, colorway that came out last year. So, he's been skating in that shoe. That's what he's wearing out in Copenhagen, like an all-black prune or something. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Drew, your ones. boys. Hmm. Oh, sorry, what? The trainer ones were crazy. Look, I don't know if I would be able to ever skate like something like that. But the uh, the Blazers, I thought were cool. I really liked those, actually. Yeah, but it's just like a classic shoe. And, you know, I thought it was cool on that Blazer. I mean, it might be on the Air Trainer, too, but that – um. That logo, like the collab logo of the the blue polar logo with the orange swoosh, I was hyped that they used the orange swoosh. I just thought that looked tight. Yeah, the orange swoosh is cool. It's like just make you think like throwback Nike stuff, and it looked tight over that polar logo. Oh yeah, backed it. Drew, your boys, the Prim Squad, as you call them, drop some footy. Yeah, before we get there, um, uh, you guys already talked about polar, like the about the spots being all fucked up. <laughs> who, yeah, who, who killed it? Who killed it in that? Who was the MVP? Would you say? Uh, I mean, I was saying my pick was Sejalte. Reef was psyched on a meal, right? Yeah, I like the meal. And Nick, yeah. and we talked about Nick Basario too. Nick, His, yeah, right. Nick, the one yeah, trick, that. the one trick I thought was pretty cool. Uh, he and he does it in the. I'm pretty sure I, if I remember correctly, it's in those trainer ones, those crazy shoes. He does the. He does a heel flip into this crusty, nasty looking bank over a rail. And I was yeah. like, whoa, how did he. Oh, he makes I don't know how we're going to remember so that. All the spots were crusty with rails. <laughs> yeah, true. Jesus. They, you know what they yeah. look like? They skated. They look like they skated at a graveyard. Dude, I mean, a junkyard like, graveyard. Yeah. There's fucking ghost spooky ass <laughs> bitches out there in the spots. <laughs> yeah. uh, primitive release some shit. You know what, Grant? I'm gonna have to you watch missed it. it. I'm gonna have to watch it with uh, while we're recording the show, man. I blew it. This week <laughs> has not been a good two. Drew week, man. What the hell am I blowing it? Oh, oh three three minutes. They call this testing two, ladies and gentlemen. Dropped on the seventh. Okay. We get to know. see Drew's live reaction. I don't see yeah. what I was like. Oh, Carlos Ribeiro, motherfucking bitches! I just had diarrhea. Jesus Christ. Yo, Robert Neal. Uh, yeah. Trent, Trent's, <laughs> Trent's my favorite on Primitive, but Robert Neal's got some great clips in there. Man. A really good trade flip. I'm glad. I'm glad that's I got to know I was him before say, he blew up. Was massive. This guy's Dude, rad. how did he pop at that eye? Yeah, Speaking of pop, and... Tiago Nolly heel into that bank? Yo, yo <laughs> how long has Tiago been on? I didn't, I didn't know he's been on for a minute. What the fuck? 
What was he on before? Ross Libre? I mean, Ross Libre. What was he on before? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the sick Boulevard. That name, uh, Boulevard. That's right. Good old Boulevard. I think Boulevard's done. Um, uh, yeah, probably if Tiago's gone. Yeah, I think they're done. So. Testing, too. So what does this mean, testing? What does this mean? They did one a few months ago, and it was just a... Oh, it's just a little... Se- he- 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 oh, okay. It's kind of a series, I guess. They had to go on a trip and film the testing at it. It looks... It looks like I'm not. I'm not trying to say the tricks are throwaway, but it it looks like they're just warming up. Honestly, to me, I think they're doing way more. Not they're like there's the heavy stuff, stuff in there, but I'm sure there's stuff that they're like that. that can you not put that in testing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's some good stuff in there for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, like we're saying, Robert Neal, which actually I think it was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, oh, Robert. He, he was on his escape play alumni. He's on here for a second yeah, once yeah. at the barracks. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, my boy yeah. Robert Neal. I would love. imagine he's. I would imagine his pro model is in the works. There's oh. no one in line in front of him. Nope, nope. He's definitely the man, Robert Neal. It's his turn, and he's put in the work. Everything primitive drops. He's got footage in there. Is this still Nike? Wait, did he get? Oh yeah, I saw what? the super pants. Sorry, Drew. Is he Robert still, Neal? Yeah, is he still on Nike? Oh no, he's getting uh, yeah. Adidas now. No, 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 no. He's on Nike, right? Same. Wait, was he wearing super pants? I thought he was wearing super pants in there. No. Oh. The oh hell, okay. The hell is super tripping. pants? Like super. Supra. Shoot. Oh, super pants. He's nah, not on I, super. Get the fuck out of here. No, no way, Rob. You'll ever leave Nike. No, no, he ain't on super. I don't know. You were just over here saying he's on Adidas, Drew. So. No, no, no. I mixed him up with the. Uh, I don't know who who's on the DS that's writing this shit. Who is that? This guy. Jen McCl- oh, Jen Soto's in there. Yeah, Jen Soto's in there. Is that the I guy with the colored that. hair? I don't know how you could think that that was Robert Neal, but <laughs> no. Well, he looks like Miles. Who are you? Are you talking about Jen Soto? Yeah. At least I think that's I a- am. Yeah, she's in it. She does the fifty-fifty back one eighty. No, not she. Fresh it's a dude. Oh wait, wait. Is that a, is that a chick? There's a girl in this edit. <laughs> With Jen short Soto. hair? Yeah, Adidas pants. Oh, shit. She looked like... Uh, she ribs. She looked like your boy, she Miles. She does skate. I like her style. Yeah, she's cool. I'm, I mean, she it's red. I think... Uh-huh. I think... I don't, you, you know what I think's overkill? All this, all this motion transition. I'm over that. Really? Yeah, that's boring. I feel like you just don't like B-roll. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I'm a fan of B-roll if it's <laughs> done right. But you know it's a hard, you know, there's layer there's levels to this shit. I know, but you got, I'm trying you to got high level, you, you got high level Lakai shit, and then you got trash transitions like anyway. I don't think you can call this trash. Maybe it's not your preference, but I Oh you like oh you like to feel like you're lost in the forest? Okay. You, well, you go- I just think that they're doing <laughs> Whatever they're they're going for, it seemed like they're doing it well. No, whatever they're going for, it, they trash. failed. I don't know what your what your right B roll is. Like I feel like there's one type you. of B roll you like, and I if just... it's not that, then it's trash. No, no, no. There's another B roll, uh, cinematographer project. They done that right. Okay. And the only the only part was uh, the alien part. Alien Alien B roll is the best B roll, actually. Alien cinematographer project is the best cinematographer project. It, it's probably oh, also yeah. the best. best it's also probably the, the best alien video. Yes. I agree with that, hundred percent. Dude, the footage in that is insane. Dylan, yeah, Donovan. I can talk about that. Yeah, is that yeah. Kevin Turpening? No, he no has a table in that too, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Abe does a front Smith like it's two. It's like a long single bench, and he puts two of them as like an A frame. Oh, does a front yeah. Smith across and or up and down. So GT's sick. got clips in it. Oh, you know yeah, what? You know what? I misspoke. I mean, the Center Photographer Project had a good alien part, but I think uh, one of the better videos is. Um, the one that uh, Dylan was on. What was that one called? That the hip? alien video? Yeah, what was that video called? Barra was in it. Heath's Mind last field? part was Mind in field? it. Minefield. Yeah, I like that. There's good stuff. That's, isn't that, that's Arto's back lip, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. On the, the double kink? Mm-hmm. He hangs on on the rollaway. Did you guys read Alexis Sablon's interview with Thrasher for Thrasher? I haven't yet. And, uh, there was one. There was, there, there was one question that I thought was like way left field. 
um, Elisa Steamer was the one who interviewed Alexis, and she asked her if she would, if uh, PJ Lad was ever a boyfriend. I was, I was, I was were they like, even talking about Wonderful Horrible Life, or it just yeah. came out of nowhere? Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit. But you know what's funny is they actually didn't say PJ. They didn't. There was only one time where they said PJ's video. They just they just kept they kept calling it that video. I was like, is there a big is there a big issue between uh, Coliseum and Thrasher back in the day? I don't think Coliseum's even around anymore. That was the shop that uh, I was for, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think that's around just because I haven't heard that name. And the only time I think I've heard that name is for this it's video. It's the only time anyone's heard that name, Grant Fierro. <laughs> yeah. So I would but then say again, prob- skateboarding back then was a different beast. Yeah, anyway, true. anyway, she said no. She he was never my boyfriend, but we were inseparable. I was like, okay, that's kind of that's kind of cool, rad. And then she said it was confusing. I was like, wait, so were you guys, <laughs> <laughs> were you guys talking? I don't know that. I was like, <laughs> that that was so left field. But then they talked about her shoe. They talked about her uh, being gone for a while. She was gone for four years to go to school. Mm-hmm. I guess she went to MIT too, right? I yeah, think. she did. That's she nice. studied, didn't she study architecture? But she does art. Right. Was it another woman skateboarder that did architecture? No, she did too. Oh, art, was it? Art, yeah. art and ar- architecture. She, you know, mm-hmm. I, I guess they both complement each other. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. It was a pretty lengthy um, interview, man. It's like, yeah, I just pulled it up. It did look a little long, but I do want to read it later. Because I, I would say, actually... Alexis is definitely one of my favorite uh, favorite women to watch. Mm-hmm. I, I try to not usually separate it like that. Like I, I would just say she's a. I like watching Alexis skate. Mm-hmm. Period. Regardless of a woman's skate video or a woman's contest, like I like her skating. Hey, there her were, switch flips are great. The, she yeah. just. I think her flip tricks just look so good. They do. There's definitely times where I, I've heard some people say like she bends down really low and they don't maybe they don't like that part of her style, but I don't know. She does good flip tricks. She has pop, and yeah, she's fun to watch. She's rad. She's super rad, man. And there weren't a lot of girl skateboarders to watch back then either. At least not one that had yeah. a, that had a, that that were out there in the streets like that. She's one of the OGs. Mm. She's right up there with uh, Alyssa. Right up there. Yeah. Who else would you put in that? Would you say Marissa Del Santo? Oh. Of course, let's not so fuck around good. here. Absolutely, yeah, but and, there, you know I'd even give credit old... to Vanessa Torres too. I'll oh give, yeah, for sure. I, I would give her yeah, some exactly. credit. OG, sure. OG Element Girl, really like yep. her. I like her style mm-hmm. as well. She definitely made some. Uh, she made some waves in the in the in the early two thousands. Yeah, that front board in Elementality where uh, there's like a bunch of knobs on the rail. I think mm-hmm. it, that's like, I think that's what it is. That was pretty cool, Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love lot. when people do board side tricks on knob rails because it sounds so sick. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I want to see. Him, <laughs> I want to see him grind that shit. Oh, I mean, there's knobs that could get grinded through that. Yeah, there's a too. few. There's only a few of them. But I'm like, I there's wish... that rail. It's the uh, San Clemente rail. It's like a really mellow handrail, but it, I think it's it's like mellow, but it's a handrail. Obviously, and has knobs and everyone grinds through it. Jamie Boy kick yeah. back fifty to. Uh, Boo Johnson's in a couple things. Five O shove, nose grind shove. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I actually was there. Josh Walsh skated it true. I don't think he fifty did though. He did lip slide, but yeah, just, like, the knobs are small enough to just go right through. Is that what the one with the um, like extended stairs? They're like kind of yeah, like it's longer? like a stretch set. Yeah, really mellow but long. Oh, I always uh, thought that was in San Diego. Oh. San Clemente, not not too far, not but, too yeah. far, but not too close either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's the city Checker, that separates Checker. Los Angeles and San Diego. It's like right. Also, right. There. If you've ever noticed at that spot, there's a white wall that goes along the set of stairs that's barely slanted, and Corey Glick fronts it wall rid it. And that's uh, crazy, uh, dude. So nuts. I've been at that spot once, and I looked at that wall, and I was like, if anyone wall rides this, they are insane. And then. Uh, just a couple weeks later, the photo of Glick's front wall right came out, and I was like, "No way, that's so gnarly!" Oh, do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? Uh, it's time what? for everyone's favorite segment: <laughs> the grand screen. Zared Bassett, 
Jared Bassett, dude. He's so rad. I've been a fan of him for a while. Um, but this, I mean, this Instagram in particular, the nose grind, the way the nose grind sounds, you better turn your audio up. You need to listen to it because it sounds tight. You could just, European spots in general always look cool. They sound cool. And then the Nolly front heel fakey Manny could not have been done better. And in general, I, there's something, I just have something for manuals where they go into like a really steep bank at the end. Just because it looks sick. And I don't know. Yeah, Zared cruising around Paris killing this plaza was tight to me. It was it was definitely something when I thought, oh yeah, I gotta, like what was I psyched on on Instagram this week? Zared came to mind. He killed it. So awesome. I think that's all I got. Awesome. I'll, I'll have to check that Zared, out. Yeah. That's real cool. Before we I start, to look at it. oh, go ahead. No brief. Damn, my bad. No, it's all good. I was just gonna say I got to look at it. Grant show, um, sent us the the link, and I I thought he. I mean, it looked he was flowing really well. That's all I gotta say. He was he's got good style. Such a smooth style. style. Yeah, he's a really cool trick selection. He's someone that can pretty versatile skateboarder. Like he, I remember he had a cover switch hurricane in a pool. Um, I don't normally think of him as a tranny dude, but he's got the tranny in him. And uh, I wasn't doing super cool. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, uh, does he? Does he, Grant? Fun. Does he have it in him? <laughs> <laughs> he can skate some training. Oh, okay. I okay. just think it's cool when dudes kind of skate a bunch of different stuff. And Zared's such a raw street skater. It's cool to see that he can uh, yeah, skate a bunch of different stuff. Man has the tranny in him. <laughs> Before we leave you guys this evening, uh, we wanted to say thank you for keeping up and listening to us. Uh, we just want to ask a small favor. Those of you who are listening and who like the show, please leave us a little review on uh, iTunes. We would be much appreciated. It would make Grant's day. <laughs> Wait, can we? Can, can I add something after that? You're not, we're not done. Go ahead. We, we didn't talk about Ryan Connor's No Future. Well, there's no future in it, so why do we need to talk about it? No, we got No, like, you know he's no, got a future. No, go ahead. The key's on his way up with those Manny's lip slide, fakey Manny, fakey flip, the wall ride. I mean, Drew said earlier, like, Ryan Connors had a week. And to me, you, the thing that I'm most psyched about right now on this show is if, la let's say a week ago, episode 202, you said, you asked me, do you know who Ryan Connors is? I'd say, yeah, he skates for pizza. Like, maybe I've seen him on Instagram, but not that much. Like, not that he, there's not clips, but just I hadn't paid enough attention. Knew who he was. Couldn't really describe his skating. A week what later. What Grant's saying is that this week, Ryan said, My name is Ryan Connor, and I ride for Thunder, bitch, and I know the future. And, pizza, and he did his oh, thing. Yeah. Like, this Thunder footage was so cool. I really enjoyed it. And, um, I mean, although Drew convinced me, he's right. The pizza thing was, was the ducky show. And Chase had a slice. Paluzzi had a slice. And Ryan Connors did too. He did his thing. He killed it. Good words. I think um, the one trick that stood out to me in the the Thunder part was it was it wasn't too crazy of a trick. I mean, to me, I thought it was. But he just always up like a bank to Manuel and Reverts front side. Thank you, Manny. And like I said, he pops. Out yeah, that of his he tricks. snapped out of that one. He, you see his knees go up and like just go up to his chest, like yeah. I don't know. I, I back it. I back it so hard. It's so. I good. wonder. I yeah. wonder. I want to see. I want to see yeah. some raw footage of him. I want to see yeah. if he turns down the ones where they aren't super popped out. Yeah. Or if he just does that every time. Yeah. He did it. He killed it. He killed it. Every trick I'm he looking at, he's doing yeah. <laughs> he does. He does. Is he on Vans? Uh, I don't think they've really like. I mean, he. I think he gets fans, yes. But I like that he does the Evan Smith, the three sixty nose grab. Mm -hmm. He's probably, a real cool back flip in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Drew's so I got you, dude. Nolly inward heel nose slide to Manny to yeah. It was inward heel. Not yeah, I was inward. Okay, yeah. Let me go back. Inward heel. Yeah. Let me go back. <laughs> inward, let, me get, let me go back. Let me go back. What I say, Nolly? What? You said Nolly inward heel no slide. Oh, no, no, no. I meant it? inward heel. heel no, no. Did I say no slide? I thought I said Nolly. I tried to say nose manny. I was too busy on the yeah. And then it, was, it, it had the <laughs> yeah, old, it had the old Ryan Connor hair. He wasn't. He didn't turn into Brandon Westgate. Skate yet? Not yet. <laughs> now he's doing the uh, Westgate. Yeah. 
Big week for Ryan. Big week Psyched for Ryan. More. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Sounds like a show. We'll catch you guys next week. Later, skaters. Mwah. Peace. Thank you. Yeah. That was a great. <laughs> Are we done? No, I didn't hit stop yet. Go ahead, Grant. Say. Oh, got- well, we're not live. Yeah, that was a good show. I'm psyched on.